Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here. I was just uh, sitting on my couch here and I was looking at the Bitcoin price. So maybe we can have a look together what is going on right now. So before we're going to start as usual, make sure to be subscribed on this channel. Tick that little bell so you never miss out whenever I'm coming live or whenever I'm bringing an update video. And um, make sure to register right now with the link in the video description to BitTrue. This is a new exchange that we are using in this channel. And currently you don't only get $1,000 as a trading bonus if you sign up with my link no you will get three thousand dollars in trading bonus so this is a bonus that bitrue is giving only to our community so definitely sign up to bitrue so like that you have another exchange that you can use if uh, you still need an account there or if you are looking for a new exchange then bitrue is a new one that i am also using so basically bitcoin right now is just going sideways nothing much has happened today but i think that we might in here for a little pullback during the night um, because uh, so far we didn't see really continuation towards our main resistance up here at around twenty eight thousand nine hundred dollars so far we are still in this consolidation phase and the problem that i'm seeing right now is that the money flow is still not really increasing the vwap is again shifted to the downside so it looks like that at the moment we don't reach the resistance or maybe break out higher. I was expecting to see today such a move towards that resistance because uh, Ethereum today was nicely pumping above this resistance that we had right here at around $1,820. And also Ethereum right now, uh, it, it has um, an, uh, the VWAP with negative slope. And very, very soon we are getting a sell signal that could, in my opinion, lead into a retail of this breakout so of course it is healthy if we're gonna retest this previous resistance trend line as a new support i think that is likely to happen next uh, since right now for ethereum also we don't see immediately continuation to the upside and looking at nasdaq also here you can see that currently we are retracing back down to the support it looks like based on the indicators that we eventually could have some more room left to the downside to potentially retest here this support area here at around thirteen thousand. if we have a four hour close now below the median line of the calvin's channels with which could happen here in the next coming hours and next to that you can see that here over on the us index we are forming now bullish divergence we have uh, higher lows in the rsi but in the price action we have lower lows so that's why here for the immediate short term we could see a potential pullback incoming in my opinion since uh, uh, the, the indicators are telling so uh, here for bitcoin uh, but as i also told you many videos as long as we keep the four hour closes above the support trend line here at around twenty seven thousand two hundred dollars we should be still uh, remaining in this uh, pattern and uh, not expect your breakout to the downside but at least for now i think that it's very likely that we will face another pullback down towards the main support down here and not uh, see continuation towards the resistance like i was expecting it early this morning since all the ethereum uh, was pumping nicely here but um, i think that all the ethereum is in for a potential retest of this breakout and then we're gonna see if it's going to hold or not so i hope that you like this a uh, quick and short bitcoin price update i'm just hanging around and had a look into the uh, price action that's why i wanted to share my opinion with you guys i hope that you also like those kind of short videos because uh, if you like them then of course i will do more such uh, small um, videos so thank you very much for watching have a great evening and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye for now